Whew. What's going on, you guys? My name's Lloyd. I am super white right now. Okay, so today, today we're going to talk about a situation that happened um, on the group, the group that I have going, my Facebook group. A guy posted a situation that happened between him and a girl where he went on a date with this girl. I think it was their third date seems like they get along really, really well. You know, they can talk for hours on end. It, they have similar interests. She seems really comfortable with him. Um, she's been out on three dates with him. And, you know, they hang out a lot. They're very close. And by the end of it, he decided that he was going to try and kiss her on this date. It's the third date, you know. Probably about time we start doing stuff like that. So he pulls her in to kiss her. Um, and right when they were about to kiss, she kind of pulls back uh, and says, Yeah, I just, I, I feel like we're better off as friends. Like, I, I feel like there's no chemistry between us. Or she feels like there's not enough chemistry between us. What, one of those things. Basically, she says um, there's not enough chemistry for them to date. And he was pretty distraught over this. I mean, he felt like he didn't do anything wrong. He felt like he wasn't needy. Um, he felt like he made her feel comfortable. He didn't scare her off or do any of that sort of stuff. He planned the dates. He just felt like he's like, Lloyd, like, what did I do wrong in this particular situation? Okay, well, dude, I, I don't think this guy did anything wrong. I, I think it's more what he didn't do rather than what he did do uh, that made the girl do what she did. Uh, so in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is I'm going to be talking about what a girl actually means when she says there's no chemistry between us. Because when you translate that into guy language, it doesn't mean the same thing. So I'm going to talk about what that means, and I'm going to talk about how to prevent any girl from saying that uh, for the rest of your life, okay? Uh, if you watch this video and you apply these principles, you're not going to have this problem anymore. Because I'll tell you what, dude, I used to have this problem a lot. I mean, I would meet a girl that we would get along, it would, we would click super well, and I would feel like whatever the chemistry <laughs> would be, uh, we had it, man. You know, we, were, we got along super well. And obviously, I was really attracted to these girls, so it hurt a lot when they said, hey, you know, I just feel like there's no chemistry between us. And it would confuse the hell out of me, too, because it's like, well, what the fuck does that mean, right? <laughs> so don't worry. In this video, I'm going to cover exactly that and how to avoid this in the future. Uh, but before I do, if, guys, if you're wondering how to get trained by me in person, I have some open spots for my... I have one open spot for my San Francisco training happening this weekend, so if you want that, reach out to me. Um, and I also have a couple open spots for in a couple weeks for my uh, live training in Toronto. I'll be there January 10th to the 12th. Uh, so if you're in Toronto uh, and you want to get trained by me in person, meet for me to be your personal wingman, that's the time to hit me up. The single guy 2017 at gmail.com. Shoot me an email, shoot me a DM, whatever, uh, and I'll get back to you. Okay, cool. So what do women mean when they say uh, we don't have any chemistry. Well, they really mean is, um, and they're not saying what they actually mean because they're trying to be nice to you. So they're going to say something that's going to more confuse you than uh, make you upset because what they really mean is something that's a little bit more personal and something that would probably offend a lot of guys if they heard it. And that's she doesn't desire you. She doesn't want to sleep with you, man. Okay. Uh, and that's a tougher thing for, I guess, for men to hear, but I almost think it would be better if some woman said it that way the guy could actually fix what he's doing and, and improve. So the real question becomes, how do you get a woman, how do you get a woman to want to fuck you? Okay. Uh, that's really what's going on here. And the truth is, is that when you have a lot of similarities with a girl, when you guys get along with you, when you click really well, that's great. That makes for a great friend, but it doesn't necessarily make for a girl to want to have sex with you, okay? Those things are actually separate, and hopefully you find a girl that wants to have sex with you who you also click. I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's the golden thing right there. It's usually um, what people get into a relationship with, you know, or if you're like me, you see her for a while. Um, but really, it's separate, okay? Creating desire and cultivating desire is she wants a man. She doesn't want someone who's exactly like her. So having shared interest, having a similar circumstance as her, a lot of those things actually can, you know, not just not contribute to it, but also hurt your chances of her desiring you, okay? I mean, how many times have you said no to this girl? How many times have you disagreed with her? How many times have you actually led and have her follow, you know? You have to think of it as like this, okay? So I've said this again and again on my channel, okay? The man-to-woman interaction is the man leads and the woman follows. So it's like you're the captain of a ship. She's like a person who's on shore, but you're the captain of the ship. And she can decide if she wants to jump on board your boat. But if she jumps on board your boat, you're the captain. You're the person who's steering the ship. You're not, like, a captain doesn't be like, hey, so where do you guys want to go? Do you want to go over there? Are you sure? We can go anywhere you want. 
If you're that kind of captain, she's going to be like, this captain doesn't know where he's going. I'm jumping off this boat. Okay? That's what creates real desire, is a guy who knows what he wants and is going for it, who is on his path. If you want to read books about this, I would recommend reading The Way of the Superior Man. No More Mr. Nice Guy would help too, because I think there's a lot of nice guy tendencies as well for this. Um, but yeah, you have to be a man. A man leads. A man goes after what he wants. And if people don't want to jump on board, that's fine, dude. He's still going to go after what he wants. The problem with a lot of these guys is because they're so worried about losing the girl that they're afraid to say no. They're afraid to disagree with her. They're afraid to lead and have her not follow. They always want to ask and make sure that she likes everything because when we grow up in life, we're constantly seeking the approval of women, whether it's our teacher, whether it's our mother, who I don't know, whatever in your life, we're taught to do this. And that makes for, you know, that's good for not getting in trouble a lot. Well, sometimes it does. Honestly, overall, I'd say probably not the best strategy. Um, but it definitely, for sure, does not get women to desire you. What gets women to desire you is you not giving a shit if they like follow you or not. Like that kind of th that kind of attitude is what women really desire. And if you're afraid about disappointing her, about upsetting her, that kills her desire like that. That's needy approval-seeking behavior, and people do it subconsciously. Like I didn't mention a few of these things that he was doing on the date, but if you delve into what this guy was saying, was a lot of the times he was kind of waiting around and wondering what. She she wanted to do during the date. That just doesn't matter, okay? That just doesn't work. That doesn't get her to want her desire. She's like, dude, like you're the guy, make the decision. You know? Figure out what we're gonna do. So I put myself in positions all the time where I'm talking to women and I'm inviting them to come jump on my ship, to come jump on my path. And if they want to jump on, great. If they don't, that's not a big deal either too. I'm going to find a girl who will jump on. And a lot of the girls that didn't jump on at the beginning when they first saw me, saw me, see me later going, doing my thing, being on my path. And then they're like, you know what? I think I'm going to jump on this ship now, okay? But you will never ever get the girl to jump on the ship by waiting at the dock and hoping she'll jump on and saying nice things to her, complimenting her and like trying to make her happy in the moment, okay? You have to sacrifice temporary comfort for long-term desire. That is what really gets women to want to sleep with you. But the problem is too many of these nice guys, they fall into traps where they're constantly seeking their temporary approval. It's a really low value thing to do, okay? Um, and it's actually quite deceptive. So I, I think that you should be going after what you want, leading, planning the dates, doing the things that you want to do. Sure, compromise every now and then is fine. But at the end of the day, if you're constantly doing it to make her like you, she is never going to want to sleep with you. Um, and so that's my conclusion to this video is that's what women mean when they say we have no chemistry, okay? And they're trying to be nice. And ultimately, if you ask women like why, what they mean by no chemistry, they will never tell you the truth, probably because they don't really understand their own feelings themselves and they don't really know what it means to be a man they because it's not their experience dude they, they're used to dealing with other stuff like the guys who they actually desire you know screwing them over like th that's the sort of stuff they worry about they don't worry about nice guys screwing them over they um that's just not in their this is not in their dna to, to worry about so um you're not going to get a straight answer from them but you will get a straight answer from me Guys, if you have any more questions about this, put them in the comments section below. Again, if you're wondering how to do this and get mentored by me in person or get mentored by me in general, um, I have forms in the description below. Fill them out or shoot me an email, shoot me a DM, whatever. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. Good luck out there.